Hi I'm Sean Lee, a nutritionist, columnist, and founder of True Nutrition Company. Today's subject I want to share with you, is the uncomfortable truth of calcium absorption. Let me tell you calcium facts first. The name of calcium came from calx or calcis in Latin, meaning lime. As you can imagine from the name, most of calcium carbonate is exists in limestone. Calcium was isolated in 1808 by Englishman, Sir Humphrey Davy. Calcium is fifth most abundant element in Earth's crust and essential for life. We have 2% of body weight of calcium and 99% of them exists in our bones and the rest of 1% is in body fluids. As a soft grey alkaline earth metal it occurs naturally in limestone, gypsum, and fluorite. Its symbol is Ca and single oxidation state plus 2, atomic number is 20 and atomic weight is 40 grams per mole. It's a divalent cation and in group 2 element in periodic table. Historically they sold calcium carbonate from limestone at first, soon later, they began to market calcium carbonate as different name calcium products. They started to emphasize their product as oyster shell calcium, shellfish, or crab shell calcium, coral calcium. But they are all calcium carbonate products. Have you ever heard that minerals are absorbed through ion channels within cells? I think most people have no idea of that ion channels. They even don't know existence of them and what they're doing in our body. Knowing ion channels is very important to understand the mechanism of mineral absorption within the human body. The truth is minerals are absorbed more efficiently when they are in ionized form. How much absorbed? The answer is, it depends on how much it is ionized. The amount of minerals you take, is not that much important as much as the absorption rate. Whatever you take if the calcium would not be ionized it will not be absorbed in your cells, and it will be excreted from your body as wastes. Let me tell you one basic and principal factor of mineral consumption. Whenever you choose mineral supplements please don't forget that the most important thing is to select easily ionized mineral products and only those minerals can be absorbed through body cells. Ok, let's learn about the ion channels first. The image shows there are ion channels within the cells and only ionized minerals can be absorbed and go through ion channels. The truth is, non-ionized minerals are not through the ion channels. That's why you should consider ionized mineral products when you choose your mineral supplements. Have you ever heard of 1991 Nobel Prize? Here is short news I want you to know of. A revolutionary understanding of the way, cells communicate has earned 1991 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine. New Scientist, October 12, 1991 By Phil Lida Brown With an ingenious technique that spawned a whole generation of research, Erwin Nair and Bert Sakeman proved that cell membranes have individual ion channels through which tiny currents can pass. By studying these channels and what regulates them, Scientists are now understanding processes such as the passage of nerve impulses, the fertilization of eggs and the regulation of the heartbeat. They are also learning about the mechanisms of diseases such as cystic fibrosis and diabetes. Without the efforts and discoveries of Dr. Bert Sockman and Dr. Irwin, it would be very hard for us to understand its existence of ion channels in human body and the importance of ionized minerals. I want you to know that calcium does not work only on bone formation. It plays more important roles and God made bones as a storage of calcium. Calcium ions, Ca2+, play vital roles in the physiology and biochemistry of organisms and the cells in human body. They play a key role in signal transduction pathways, where they act as a second messenger, in neurotransmitter release from neurons, in contraction of all muscle cell types, and in fertilization. Many enzymes require calcium ions as a cofactor, those of the blood clotting cascade being notable examples. Extracellular calcium is also important for maintaining the potential difference across excitable cell membranes, as well as proper bone formation. Here is extremely valuable information, but you may not know of yet. Our body requires maintaining blood calcium levels by 9 mg per deciliter, which is equivalent to 4.5 mg per deciliter as ionized or free calcium. Then, I have one quick question for you. 
Have you ever questioned why there is calcium homeostasis in our body system? The answer is, the leading role of calcium is not forming bones. It has significantly important roles than forming bones. When you have abnormal calcium levels in your blood your nerve and muscle system will not be working properly. For example, when the calcium levels are lower than normal it may cause cardiac arrhythmia, hypotension, brain damages, and many other, life-taking risks. That's why in mammals, calcium levels are tightly regulated. And bones are acting as the major mineral storage site, especially for calcium. Calcium ions are released from bone into the bloodstream under controlled conditions. Calcium is transported through the bloodstream as dissolved ions or bound to proteins such as serum albumin. And the calcium homeostasis is maintaining proper levels of calcium in blood. When free or ionized calcium is lower than normal, our body system takes calcium out of our bones. It would be the main cause of osteoporosis. So, we need to keep supplying decent quality calcium ions in our blood, not to take out calcium from our bones. Here is simple explanation about calcium metabolism in our body. Parathyroid hormone secreted by the parathyroid gland regulates the resorption of calcium ions from bone, reabsorption in the kidney back into circulation, and increases in the activation of vitamin D3 to calcitriol. Calcitriol, the active form of vitamin D3, promotes absorption of calcium from the intestines and the mobilization of calcium ions from bone matrix. I want to tell you another truth of calcium product. Vitamin D is not the major factor in good calcium supplements. Now, I would like to tell you the principal requirements of good calcium supplements. When people choose calcium supplements, vitamin D is considered as a very important ingredient for calcium absorption. In one way it's true because vitamin D promotes absorption of calcium from the intestines when the blood calcium levels are lower than normal. However, human skin can make substantial amounts of vitamin D when sizable portion of your skin is exposed to the sun. Your body is designed to get the vitamin D it needs, by producing it when your bare skin is exposed to sunlight. God gives you a very economical, easy, and safe method to get vitamin D in natural way. And, I want you to pay more attention to there are many alerts regarding overdosing vitamin D, because it might be one of the cause of hypercalcemia. Hypercalcemia is usually a result of overactive parathyroid glands and vitamin D is related with this guy. Dr. Jonathan R. Jensen, MD, PhD, University of Utah published his article, Hypercalcemic Crisis Due to Vitamin D Toxicity in the Laboratory Medicine of American Society for Clinical Pathology on May 1, 2014, would be one of the good researches regarding vitamin D overdose. In his article he noted that vitamin D toxicity can result from overuse of prescription or over-the-counter vitamin D containing supplements, overconsumption of foods that have been fortified with vitamin D, ingestion of vitamin D containing rodenticides, and even consumption of normally safe doses of vitamin D by individuals with a genetic predisposition to vitamin D sensitivity. So, from now on, we'd better not to emphasize excessively the existence of vitamin D in calcium supplement. Only people who is in vitamin D deficiency need to take it separately. That is simple and safer way to judge vitamin D in calcium supplement. Then what would be the rest of major factors of good calcium? Ionization is the first factor in good calcium supplements. As we discussed before, only ionized or free calcium can go through cell membranes. That's why I emphasize you to try to get calcium supplements which are easy to be ionized. In humans the concentration of calcium is about 9 to 10 mg per deciliter. But there are three types of calcium exists in plasma or serum, which are 41% of protein bound calcium, mostly bound to albumin, 50% of ionized or free calcium, and 9% of complexed or chelated calcium. Protein-bound calcium and complexed or chelated calcium is combined with organic or inorganic substances and they have distinct roles from free or ionized calcium. Meanwhile, researchers trying to figure out if these unionized calcium contents in our blood might be a big cause of hypercalcemia, which everyone worries when they take calcium supplements. 
Hypercalcemia is a condition in which the calcium level in your blood is above normal. Too much calcium in your blood can create soft tissue calcium such as gallstones, kidney stones, and interfere with how your heart and brain work. So, I would like to recommend you choose calcium supplement can be easily ionized, along with magnesium, to avoid from the risks of unwanted hypercalcemia related disease. Magnesium is a safeguard to ensure safety of calcium in our body. Magnesium plays a role in over 300 enzymatic reactions within human body, including the metabolism of food, synthesis of fatty acids and proteins, and the transmission of nerve impulses. Magnesium is one of seven essential macrominerals. These are minerals that need to be consumed in relatively large amounts, at least 100 mg per day. An adequate intake can help preventing problems with bones, the cardiovascular system, diabetes, and other functions. However, you may not know of magnesium's importance in calcium supplements. Magnesium is a safeguard of calcium because it associated with muscle relaxation, while calcium is connected to the muscle contraction. Magnesium can affect muscle relaxation through direct action on cell membranes. Magnesium ions close certain types of calcium channels, which conduct positively charged calcium ions into neurons. As a physiologic calcium antagonist, magnesium can be used for calcium channel blocker and it also can be used for treating hypertension. 2 to 1 ratio of calcium and magnesium is the best formula for good calcium supplements. Since calcium and magnesium is a couple minerals, magnesium should be together in calcium supplements. Today, in this video we've learned about basic information about calcium metabolism and secret of calcium absorption mechanism, including ion channels, roles of calcium and magnesium. And also, I've told about what we need to pay more attentions to get safer and more effective calcium supplements from all calcium products on the market. I hope you would like this video. And if you liked or are interested in this video please share this video with your close friends and family members. On the next video I will invite you to the Seeing is Believing Labs, to show real experiments to reveal what the high quality calcium product looks like and how to do, your DIY calcium test. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.